Let's talk about RPGs, but not the sort of RPGs that were once good, but then turned into pay to win cash grabs so some greedy CEO could buy another private yacht. No, let's talk about good RPG games. But before that, there is this website that I use called Woovit. They give you free PlayStation games so long as you make YouTube videos about whatever you download. Most of the games on there are shit, but I've managed to get some decent mileage from videos about the pants games I've found there. So I looked for another shitter, and I found one, but that's coming up in another video. I also found this game, Empire of Angels 4. I thought this one was going to be crap, so I downloaded it with the intent of pointing and laughing at it. But you know what? It's actually alright. It's not the best game ever, but it's not burn your eyes out terrible either. I'd say it sits somewhere in the middle of those two things. It's a decent enough mid-tier game that probably isn't worth the £16 there are asking for it but if you see it for around seven pound on sale yeah it's worth a go from the footage that you've seen so far and this video's thumbnail you've probably worked out that it's a tactical battle rpg game if you're thinking final fantasy tactics or disgaea you're on the right track but if you're not a child you may have played mysteria on the sega saturn that is what this game is like the reason why empire of angels 4 is more like that than the other tactics games i mentioned is because it's a far more stripped down and simpler game. I don't see that as a bad thing either. Instead of each character having a billion different moves layered over 12 different combat systems, each requiring a 15 minute tutorial so you don't get insta-killed on your first turn. It's just move, melee attack, range attack, magic attack, healing, buffing and debuffing. So then the emphasis becomes on character placement and health management and not having to become the fucking rain man and memorize 11 different interlocking battle systems. Unless you are proper mong, even without having played a turn-based RPG before, it should be pretty obvious how all this works. You and the computer take turns and when it's your turn, you can move each member of your team around and have them attack and then at the end of your turn, it's then down to the computer to do the same thing with the mobs under its control. You control a team of characters, each with a different set of skills. Like I said, this is a simple game, so the skill type's about as surprising as a fat person in McDonald's. You get a healer, some ranged attacks, a magic user, and a melee attacker. Although, as you play, your characters go up levels, and you can choose which route through the skill progression system you want them to take. It's all very simple and strangely refreshing. Everything has this very simple and clean look to it. The in-game character models and animation is all chibi style, so everyone has Graham Scott levels of enlarged heads, while knights are riding toy horses and characters have an almost comedic style to their death animations, especially because upon death all their clothes fall off. Giggity, 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 let's have sex. There is one last key section to this game I haven't talked about yet, and that's the story. This is still an RPG after all, but if you thought the simplistic style of the gameplay would bleed over into the story, you'd be absolutely correct. It's by the numbers JRPG text box storytelling. And as for the story itself, well, it's bad person wants to take over the land, you must stop them, people talk to each other along the way. The skip button is your friend, so press it. Because the fun part of this game is the battles and the story just gets in the way of that. Now, before I give my final judgment on this game and wrap the video up, you may have noticed that this game is called Empire of Angels 4. Now, I never heard of this series before, so I thought I'd read up about it for this video. Turns out that this is the first release in the series that up until now has been a Chinese only PC exclusive with the previous games Empire of Angels 3 coming out in 2002 and Empire of Angels 2 and 1 being released in 1994 and 1993. Anyway, you've probably worked out by now if you'll enjoy this game or not and if you do like the look of it, it's out now on all modern platforms. I've been showing you the PS4 version of the game running on a PS5, but I did have a look at some Switch footage online and it's no different really. This game did get a very limited physical release, but those copies are all in the hands of resellers now, so you expect to get absolutely knocked on eBay if you wanted to buy a boxed version of this game. So to finish this up, this is the dictionary definition of mid. It's not a bad game, but it's not a fantastic one either. It's okay, and so long as you pay under a tenner for it, you're not going to feel hard done by. 
ビデオにコメントを残して、いいね、ボタンを押し、友達に勧めてから、ドジケバブを購読してください。